Hi there. Welcome to the Powerhouse Affiliate Show. Today, I'm happy to have Anastasia Titova from Yelana Network. It's the CPA Network. She's going to tell us all about it today. And we're going to be talking about affiliate marketing and how affiliates can start making more money with this network and some of the strategies they're seeing on their side. So without further ado, please uh, introduce yourself and let us know a little bit more about your network. I can say that uh, Ilana is the network that uh, mostly working with gambling and betting niche. Uh, we have offers from uh, other verticals a bit, uh, but our main focus is there. Our team uh, have an experience uh, working in gambling and betting uh, niche. So we will be happy to help anyone who would like to start with a gambling niche or continue working with gambling golfers to start with us. That's excellent. I actually have a, a history in gambling offers. I did a lot of um, gambling in the past on... Um, Facebook back in the day, but now it's getting much more difficult. And I understand that you guys also have uh, traffic source, which is you're connected to, uh, which is Rich Ads, correct? Is that? Right, right. Our mother company is Rich Ads. Uh, but despite on that, uh, uh, our main vertical in any case is still a uh, gambling niche. Could you tell me how you feel things have changed over the last few years, like in, especially with respect to gambling offers? And maybe some of the strategies that are, are that you're seeing working today with that niche and vertical. Mm, you know, I can say about the whole CPA network that it became more difficult in technical aspect exactly. So that's the time for teams because uh, that became more harder to work here in the solo. I mean, if we will discuss about in previous days when I remember when I just started it was possible to run adult Nutra offers without any clocking or something like that in Facebook uh, nowadays it uh, sounds like a legend but we ha had that situation so uh, now you need to know a lot about account farming and about how to promote uh, offers uh, through different sources about probably some apps uh, a lot of things about optimization trackers and etc etc it could be api integration there's a lot of things that um, actually not uh, makes our life simpler when you are working in solo when you for example have someone in your team who could divide some part of work with you like example one of you started with running traffic and another one working with um, technical aspects it makes your life simpler that's why a lot of people uh, creating their own teams, even if it's not big teams, so just in two people, three people in the group, something like that. And I see that uh, a lot of people starting using AI for uh, their uh, their everyday life. I mean, it could help you to create creatives, help to find some information simply. You make some research about some geo, make simpler because of that, because you uh, you can just uh, give that part of job for something that will make it simpler and won't take a lot of time. So yeah. in my opinion, something like that happens right now. Right. So are you seeing a lot of the uh, major players, the successful affiliates are mainly bigger teams now like you're seeing more of that than just your typical single guy coming in there or girl and had setting up a campaign and just blowing it up uh it's it does it does require more networking more team approach is what you what yeah you right and uh, of course it's because of a lot of cpa networks uh, appears now and uh you need uh, more guys to communicate with all of us <laughs> Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, AI has certainly helped out quite a bit over the last few months, especially on my side where I do affiliate marketing as well. And um, <clears throat> yeah, it's it's nice to have that tool there, which can kind of fix some of the other tasks that used to have to, you know, where you'd have to contact somebody to change the color of a button on your website or change the design of your your 
your page, especially when it comes to push traffic and that kind of stuff where you're trying to create these landing pages that are engaging for users. Um, I find AI is helping in that regard too. So that's cool. Yeah. Affiliate managers are using it as well, actually, <laughs> but that's another part of uh, discussion. Yeah. <laughs> right on. So um, with the Alana network, what is it that you guys offer? What, what makes you guys stand out for, um, you know, why should we as affiliates choose you guys? Uh, I can say that I see that main problem in our uh, area to find a good manager uh, who will communicate with you because that's very important to uh, have uh, in CPA network uh, affiliate manager who understand how your traffic works how the offer works and how to find uh, the best deal for you and how to figure out with a lot of problem that you're facing after start running traffic. A good affiliate manager can help you example uh, with some uh, advices about how to optimize your campaign. Okay, maybe for super skilled affiliates, it's not uh, the main thing. But uh, sometimes we could uh, uh, find in discussion things that we uh, didn't think about before and uh, it helped to uh, improve uh, campaign for us and increase the oil for sure for both sides. So uh, in Yelana, we're mostly working with guys uh, who have an experience in uh, gambling niche and have uh, a lot of uh, knowledge about how it works and about uh, traffic types as well. We have also uh, some uh, skill sharings uh, in a weekly basis with our team where we are discussing about hard cases, about uh, uh, new things, new trends in uh, CPA, uh, how to figure out with it and how uh, what we could, could uh, do for our affiliate example maybe discuss some uh, updates in uh, you know in a lot time market to uh, uh, help affiliates uh, with their campaign so with all of the changes happening in the industry let's talk about traffic for a second can you tell me some new trends you're seeing in traffic generation for especially for casino offers where are people going and maybe if you have some insider uh, advice somewhere affiliates can find some good traffic for for casino offers yeah you know uh last time i heard a lot about aco traffic and even uh, when we had a meetup here on Cyprus, uh, I heard that one of the biggest network in uh, gambling area discussed they are paying a lot of attention and building their own media buying team with ACO traffic and looks like that it's new trend. We're working with that traffic uh, as well, but I cannot say that right now it's our top traffic source. But uh, after uh, that meetup, I think more about how to attract people uh, to our network with ACO traffic and how to find the best deals for them. So uh, sounds like it's a new trend in gambling, probably. So can you just describe quickly what kind of traffic that is exactly for those watching? Yeah, so actually it's um, almost like a CO traffic, but it's more about app optimization. So when you are going to a store, you see you are searching some apps in all depends on which app goes up in uh, your search. So it's more about that. Uh, and uh, like a traffic uh, type, actually that shows great results, but it right. takes a bit more time then let's say Facebook to show good results because need to warm up it and it takes more time. It would be involving perhaps creating apps and having these apps show up in the Play Store or on the iPhone shopping. Yep, yep. How to yeah. get it up in your <laughs> sources. And, right. and okay. then within the app, they can play these games and, and and yep, eventually yep. get a notification right. to, to join that. Exactly. Yeah, that's an excellent um, 
piece of advice. That's, I think, something that is very interesting. And I'm sure your team has some insights on that if people are interested in in exploring that. But I, I can see how now what you're saying, it's definitely important that you have experience before you go down that path. Yeah, so it's mostly for experience, guys. If we're discussing about people who are creating you on this area, I think that uh, Facebook, again, on the top of wave uh, about uh, even gambling. As we know, in gambling niche, uh, Facebook, not the best traffic source, let's say this way. Uh, sometimes it shows great results with some brands, but not uh, with any. So you need to know how to work with it for sure. But uh, right now, I know a lot of teams that have Facebook like a main traffic uh, source and they have amazing results i yeah. know that uh, co traffic and uh, ppc traffic is still on the top for gambling brands but uh, in my opinion it all depends on the team and their yeah. skills so yeah. it looks like facebook goes up again because uh, if we are discussing about uh, previous year, I saw a bit different situation because a lot of brands say that they are not ready to start with Facebook. And now it looks like its uh, situation go goes better. It's important to have teams that can keep, you know, traffic going. It's really inconsistent. And, and one mm -hmm. of the challenges I found when we were doing some of this type of traffic was, um, like you said, the quality where you'd have to keep changing the ads where you'd finally get something approved and it was running and it was great. And then all of a sudden the, the, the advertiser says, well, actually we need to change the ad. The quality is not good. And then, so you have to be able to pivot. It's, it's a big, it's a big deal. Um, yeah, it's true. Yeah. So without a team, you, you, you kind of get burnt out if you're not, if you're not working with a bunch of people or at least three or four people. Yep, agree, totally agree, and uh, even more in my opinion, because uh, all depends on your volume actually, and yeah. about who are working in your team. If the, that hard worker, okay, you have lower risk, but yes, maybe because of COVID, the situation has changed a lot. A lot of people works uh, working re remotely, and uh, in my opinion, it's affecting on uh, their. Uh, integration in some processes and they well, want to work less and have uh, more fun it's not bad but it's uh, you know uh, when you need to find hard workers in your team it's uh, uh, became more complicated than it was before so for new affiliates coming into yelana network i've seen on the website that they can apply and you have a process of getting new affiliates in what would be the the, the roadmap for somebody who wants to come in and start making money with you guys how would that work and and what is the process and how do you see new affiliates having success? First of all, we have a support team. We have a affiliate managers who are discussing with affiliates before giving him an access for some offers. Uh, when we will discuss, uh, we will understand which offer we could give him. If uh, we are discussing about totally newbie, we are not recommend uh, we not recommend them to start with gambling niche because it's uh, not very simple to start let's say this way first of all will be uh, better to start with pop or push traffic actually i recommend for just first steps to start with pop traffic uh, what you can try with it uh, we have apps example like vpn or utilities for phones uh, and you can uh try with it example that's pretty simple you don't need to create any creatives and our team will help you with uh, campaign settings and some recommendations as we understand your your mother company is rich ads which offers push traffic and we talked about push traffic and casino ads can you tell me a little bit more about rich ads and how that would fit in with uh, casino and what other ad types maybe i can say to you that we have a um, traffic uh, actually we have offers for uh, uh, push uh, ads traffic and for pop traffic as well 
as we discussed earlier, we have uh, not only gambling and betting offers. For example, push traffic. If you have some experience, uh, if you have understanding of gambling niche, and if you made a good research before to start, we can uh, share you some really good brands that uh, works uh, with uh, push traffic as well. And you can uh, try to start your campaign with push traffic. And actually, we have some uh, good results with it. Plus, we have some CPL deals that accept that kind of traffic and uh, could uh, make money with it. So just ping us and we will share that information. Uh, but if we are discussing not only about gambling and betting, we have also software offers like Norton, um, uh, McAfee, uh, Total AV, uh, and etc. We have some actually great sweepstakes also. Uh, not much, but uh, all of them uh, hand-picked and uh, we know very well the advertiser and actually that's our exclusive deal that you won't find in other networks and uh, we have uh, something like smart links for our affiliates as well and actually uh, in the near future will appear more uh, offers for pop traffic as well uh, that could work and bring you profit nice so how are people using the smart links? And just a quick description, a smart link would be something like that it would automatically switch to the right country, the right targeting that you think would work, and it would show an offer that people might convert on. Where are affiliates typically using that? Would it be in a back button script or would it be in a pop under that they have implemented on their website? How, how are affiliates really using those on, that you're seeing anyway? Actually, smart link could be used different ways. Example, you can work with it like with a main offer. Uh, but in that case, you will need a smart link uh, with uh, one theme. I mean, you are taking smart link for sweepstakes, smart link for dating. It will be separate campaigns. Uh, why? You could actually try smart link that cover a lot of verticals. No problem. But the main problem to create uh, creatives. Uh, here uh, and find the, the good way because if you will use misleading uh, to show example you want something uh, then user clicking on that and see dating uh, what you want yeah, and right. uh, we're not sure uh, okay it could work uh, it could work so very bad for you and actually it could uh, show you some even uh, uh, problem with uh, traffic quality uh, just because of you choose wrong way to uh, promote the smart link with create uh, with creatives uh, you can use it uh, like a back button you can use it like a traffic back for additional monetization uh, you can use it uh, just like uh, yeah, actually, mostly people use it like a traffic back. Uh, example, if something will get wrong with your offer, traffic back will work and you, uh, you won't lose money. Uh, right. Your traffic will bring something in any case. But uh, actually, mostly that's making for uh, when you are not very sure in your targets, not to lose traffic you can monetize it plus yeah. a lot of actually sources when they are tr starting their own campaigns i can tell you that they're um, not very carefully with targeting and they are losing a lot of money just not to use a traffic back uh, feature when you start really building these campaigns there's so much data that you need to understand there's a lot of tricks that you'll see on some landing pages these days that sometimes would shock you when you look at some of these pages mm -hmm. and you're just like, wow, that's, that's really good. Like they have these spin wheels, which is like an old, an old method, but still kind of works sometimes. But any way of like making it look like you're getting a gift or something, there's just all these little tricks that people are using. And if you're coming out brand new, uh, I, I can see why you're saying it's probably better to start with the easier 
conversions, install offers, and VPN. That's a good one too. Uh, thanks for that. That's good information. Yeah. Plus, you need to, a lot of budget to start with uh, exp as expensive lead you will have. Let's say this way. Uh, then bigger budget you will need. And we shouldn't skip that part as well. So with the rise of different traffic sources and AI and all of these things that we're talking about here and the challenges with rules, endless things that are changing, where do you see traditional affiliate marketing going next year? Mm, you know, <laughs> uh, that's very hard to say. Because the last uh, two years showed us that uh, you cannot plan something uh, in general. Uh, but I think that ACO traffic will uh, take uh, more or more attention for uh, future deals, especially for gambling, let's say this way. And I think that it uh, became more complicated for Soho affiliates to work alone. I know that everyone speaking about that every year but uh, in my opinion solo affiliating uh, will st uh, stay in the past or it will be just for whom it um, for affiliates who take it like a hobby and working you know what not this a big volumes of traffic but if you're planning to uh, make it in professional level uh, you will definitely need to think about more people in your team. Okay, you don't need this AI to find the people who will create, example, um, some new creatives for you. Uh, but in any case, uh, in my opinion, it will be better to find someone who have an expertise uh, and uh, could uh, see on that and uh, think if it suits for the audience or not. Because AI is just uh, it's only as smart just, as you are really it's only as smart yeah. as you're putting in the commands. yeah yeah so we just cre creating <laughs> collecting some information from different sources but it doesn't mean that uh, that's the best way to work with it could be that it makes mistakes yeah you have to really double check all the information too i remember uh, a couple of things i've asked it to do recently it's kind of like whoa that's not right <laughs> We'll just leave that one away. We won't do that. Yeah, that's good. Uh, so how is uh, your network overall adapting over the last few years and into the future to, you know, stay ahead of the curve and, and be a leader in CPA? Uh, first of all, we're trying to uh, speak a lot with our clients. Uh, our affiliates could uh, show us a lot of things that we need to pay attention on. Example, they could recommend some uh good geos that we need to pay attention on but we uh, didn't concentrate on that before or they could command us even good advertiser as well why not they could uh, say us that we don't have some uh, features that they need to start work with us and that it's necessary for networks example to start work with they could uh, show us some information about future trends so it's always about communication i'm speaking not only about affiliates advertisers as well so speaking of communication uh, you guys communicate well with your advertisers and and finding good offers and good connections and uh, keeping ahead of the curve what about with affiliates well how do you guys keep an affiliates informed do you guys have uh a YouTube channel, newsletters, any other platforms that oh. you engage with affiliates? Uh, yes. Uh, first of all, we almost finished with our own platform. I mean, uh, system uh, for personal, uh, your personal account in Gilan and etc. Right now, we are using FIs, uh, just like a temporary decision. But uh, in next two months, we will move to our uh crm platform so guys please keep in mind that you will have a newsletter from us soon uh, That's good, yeah. yeah about that yeah i hope that everyone will like it because we spend a lot of time to create it and we will be happy with any feedback about how it works uh in any case we will try <laughs> to move smoothly so uh no panic no rush but uh, good idea that uh, this platform will have a lot of custom features 
in the future. Uh, most of them uh, under pro uh, progress right now. Also, our blog where we are posting case studies, even for newbies as well, how to start with different offers and some advices, some trends and etc. We have a lot of uh, also cases and information uh, with our mother company, Rich Ads, uh, and speaking about the future in different verticals and etc. etc. Uh, plus, for sure, we have our uh, chats in uh, Telegram and we have mailing as well. So okay. we're using both okay. channels. So when we're, you actually answered my next question, which was, do you have any new features coming? And you're saying that you're going to have a new custom tracking platform. Is it going to be your own custom platform or is it going to be a, a different uh, system? Um, are you guys building it out yourself? Is that what's happening? Uh, it's actually our own system that we build. Uh, yeah. And uh, in the future, it will be connected with uh, Richard as well. Oh, nice. uh, yeah, I cannot say you when we will be ready to integrate both platforms together, but we have it in our plans. So it makes uh, life simply for the people who are running push traffic. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, also we didn't say about that before, uh, but for guys who are working with push traffic, we have uh, some offers as well for gambling. But it's better to start when you have some uh, experience in this uh, niche. Uh, also, we will have some instruments that will help to work uh, for teams and solo affiliates. But I think that we will discover uh, this information a bit later when we will be ready to post it. It will be uh, pretty soon. So that'll that'll allow for some kind of seamless data integration between your your traffic and your network which is kind of neat sometimes mm -hmm. uh, especially if you're running push ads like you said we're going to come to a close here soon i just wanted to see if you had some more advice or tips for affiliates coming into the game here and what you want them to take away from today's conversation it's yeah I could, <laughs> I could recommend to for anyone but i think it's mostly for newbie affiliates uh, before to start something new, you need to make a good research. It doesn't matter what we are talking about. If we are speaking about new geo, you need to make some research about the audience and how to attract them and about uh, what they are looking for, how they are acting and etc. It helps you to save a lot of money and uh, increase your incomes. When we are speaking about different verticals, especially you need to make some research because i see a lot of things uh, when uh, people trying to start with new vertical have no actually imagination about how to start work with it uh, not sure why that happens but i always see the same situation that i found creatives from somewhere in spy tools uh, loading it to my head and it's not converting why because you're trying to use creatives <laughs> that uh, somebody uh, using for already. So it should be not so profitable as you're expecting. And yeah, you, uh, you don't know is it converting or not. So who knows? Yeah, we say that a lot uh, in our training and as well on our channel that the rip and run method is dying where you rip somebody's campaign. You, you think you're just going to set it up and away you go. You're going to start making money. Uh, these spy tools are used for research more than anything, maybe getting some ideas. Um, but yeah. really, in order to succeed with affiliate marketing, you have to be creative and you have to be the first one with a new idea or a new, mm -hmm. new ad angle a new landing page trick. And I think that's the big key takeaway here is with so many things changing, you also have to be able to change as well. So with respect to casino offers, I know there's a lot of uh, question around this topic is whether affiliates make more money with the cost per install or CPA style offers where you get paid once and only once, or do you find rev share is a bigger player for some of your affiliates uh, making more money? Which one is better do you find, or is there a combination there that works best? Uh, you know, it's always a hard question because uh, if, for example, discussing, it all depends on, first of all, depends on source. For sure, if we are discussing about, example, push traffic, 
uh, it will be better to start with CPA deal, even for uh, brand uh, as well, because it's simply to check that uh, everything goes uh, well and traffic uh, pays for them and etc. But if we're discussing about CEO traffic example, people mostly prefer to work with revenue share model. In my opinion, it could work but it could work for big players and for um, all trusted sources. If we are discussing about some something new, it will be better uh, for affiliates for sure to start with CPA deal because even if payout won't be high, they could check uh, the traffic, how it works and if it brings something uh, for uh, them with revenue share, but for CPA, they will earn more for sure. Uh, of course, for brands, more safety zone is revenue share because uh, it's simply to find uh, that traffic won't pay for them. But uh, CPA model for affiliates uh, with, let's say, not uh, big volumes works uh, better. If we are discussing about sources like PPC or let's say Facebook, when you are just starting, it's just for affiliates, right? Uh, when you're just starting, it will be better to start with CPA. And after you will work with brand for some time, you can try, of course, to switch to hybrid model. I think it will be better, but you need to uh, be sure how your players shows uh, their own because of course for brands to give someone a hybrid model they uh, should uh, have very good income from your players uh, it's not like uh, they are just making two deposits and disappear uh, yeah. you need to have a high level of attraction but in my opinion hybrid model is the best way to earn a lot of money but it won't start from nowhere you need to have a story with this brand and uh, understand very well how to attract people but for right. affiliates for any affiliate i think it will be better to start with cpa yeah. for uh, brands re revenue share for sure better <laughs> Right. So do you guys have the hybrid style offers where you get paid a CPA plus later on you can get a commission? Uh, yeah, actually, we have a brand that ready to start with hybrid model. After uh, maybe one month, they will be ready to speak about that because we need someone actually ready to start earlier, but we need to show uh, some... Uh, quality level here. So if right. your players will start to play faster, for sure we can switch on that faster. If uh, it takes more time for them to play and cover expenses, then for sure months or more. So how can affiliates get access to you guys? Is there a special uh, place that they can go now? And this is just your website? Is that yeah, you just can uh, create an account through our website and you will get access. So we have no uh, strict rules. All that we are asking not to send us fraud or forbidden traffic for the offer. So you need to, to be sure that uh, your promotion way uh, matches with the uh, offer that you take. So right. <laughs> that's, that's it. <laughs> Yeah. Awesome. Well, I really appreciate your time today and, and joining us and sharing your insights on what you're seeing behind the scenes and where you're going with the future of Yolanda Network. Sounds uh, fascinating. And uh, thank you very much. If you have any closing remarks. Uh, I think no. Uh, we just discussed everything. Uh, thank you very much for your time as well. And uh, we'll be happy to see anyone on Affiliate World Asia and future conferences as well. Happy to have Anastasia from the Yella. Ye Let me do that again. <laughs> Don't <laughs> worry. So, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> ah. Don't worry. <laughs> ah, geez, I need water. And if we're discussing about, um, sorry, I forgot <laughs> again. <That's okay>. uh. <laughs>